How fast should you be running your intervals and how fast is too fast? I got this great question in the comments below. How fast is too fast for intervals? Is there any ideal heart rate zone we can aim? I tried intervals for 400 meters, but haven't found the best pace for me. It often feels too fast that I, that I will pass out if I don't stop and I can't recover even within five minutes. But when I tried to slow down the interval running, I'm back into zone two, which is my jogging pace. And what exercises to do to lower my heart rate so that I can run faster? Now, this is a great question because he's clearly putting in the effort. And you know, you're coming away from an interval session thinking, how have I not judged that first and second rep? And you're going off too fast because you're new to interval running. What I see here from this question is, are there any ideal heart rate zones I can aim at done an interval but haven't found the best pace for me, often feels too fast that I'll pass out if I don't stop and I can't recover within five minutes. If you think about it, yes, there are zones you can be in. And essentially what we're looking for in distance running is we're going super slow that you can hold some kind of a conversation. Maybe you can't continuously speak, but you can get out paragraphs. That's your zone one and zone two. Then you're pushing to a point that you can't speak or you don't want to speak because you're pushing. Essentially, that's your zone three. And then you couldn't even say get out of the way to somebody if you were about to run into somebody. That's your zone four and zone five. It's pretty much push, zone three, push really hard, zone four, zone five. And that's it. And that could be the end of distance running, the end of our talk, the end of the channel. Goodbye, thanks a lot, and I'm going home. But essentially what interval running is trying to do and the reason why it's so important to pace it is it needs pacing in order for you to complete each part of that. So each interval, each rep, each maybe four or five reps. And if you're going for something as simple as 20 times one minute, seems very simple. In actual fact, it's a very, very difficult session to pace because you're working with a shorter amount of time. What you're probably finding is that you're new to running faster. And you, maybe you've been running for six months, a year, three years, but you've never implemented faster running. And so what that then feels like, it's very alien because essentially you're learning a new skill. And this is often where runners go wrong. So it's great that you've asked the question. If we try to run fast, it's going to feel unnatural because we've not used our heart, our lungs, to that level before, therefore we're not efficient. Our body is not efficient at getting blood, an oxygen rich blood to the muscles. So we can't handle that new type of exercise, that faster running. And so maybe what you need to do is initially insert the skill and insert the habit of every Wednesday you do your interval session and that gradually is going to get faster as your body is able to physically move over the ground a little bit more efficiently and a little bit more effectively each week. So you may start with 20 times one minute, but you won't be able to get into the zone because it's such a new skill. If you think about it like skiing, cross-country skiing, and you're trying to go out there, but you've not got the technique, you've not got the skill, it will be very difficult for you to get your heart rate up into zone three and zone four. Very, very difficult, and trust me, I've tried it. It's difficult if you don't have the technique and you don't have that skill. Once you learn the skill, and you can apply this to faster running, then you can push, and then you can get up into zone three and four. The great thing is that it doesn't take you so long from running to then starting to implement speed work or interval work and that threshold pace to implement it to be able to push. So it's gonna take you three, four, five weeks in order to judge the pace of an interval session. So first of all, you can complete the session. And it might be a more sensible option for you. If you're used to going out there running 5K in let's say 30 minutes, 35 minutes, and now you're trying to add a little bit more speed because you want to go faster in that 5K, it might be easier or better, more efficient for you to do something like two times 10 minutes just a little bit faster than you're currently running because in the last three years, all you've been doing is going out and running the same pace for every single run, even if you're running every other day. So 
two times 10 minutes will allow you to psychologically think, I'm not going out there and running for 35 minutes or 40 minutes. I'm just going out there and running 10 minutes. Then I'm having a 60 second rest and then I'm doing another 10 minutes. And what that will allow you to do is you don't have to go super fast because it's a long rep, but it's gradually introducing you to speed. And then you might, and this could be a reverse method if, if it's, if it's one minute intervals that you've started with and then you know 75 seconds and then 90 seconds, this is coming at it the other way. So starting with 10 minute intervals, then maybe seven and a half minute, then maybe five minute intervals. Four times five minutes should be more difficult, meaning you'll be able to push a faster pace than two times 10 minutes. And then onwards from there, you might do four minute intervals and three minute intervals and two and a half minute intervals and two minute intervals before you get to a point that for one minute you can actually get up there into zone three and zone four and feel like I can't hold a conversation, I can't even get words out. And that's where you want to be and that's the simple way. If you really want to test out your zones, then you can go into a lab and, 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 and see a really good exercise physiologist, ideally with a strong running background, who can test what your blood is doing, correlate that to your heart rate, and then tell you what you need to work on. So. In summary, what I would focus on if you're going out there and you're trying to adopt that new skill of going fast is I would focus on longer intervals and just focus on pushing a little bit faster than what you're currently going out there and running for on your regular runs and seeing what that feels like, but staying within yourself. Don't worry too much about heart rate now. Worry more about what the perceived effort is like. Is this harder than, a little bit harder than usual? and then gradually building volume at that speed. And if that looks like something like two times 10 minutes or two times 10 minutes and then two times five minutes, so you're able to change up in gears and go even quicker for those five minutes than the 10 minutes, great. It's gonna mean that you can get to the shorter reps quicker and build that top end speed. But there's many ways to skin a cat and you can go at it the longer interval and then gradually bring that down or do what a lot of people do and start with a one minute interval and do something like 12 times one minute, then gradually increase it to 15, then 18, then 20. And that 20 times one minute is a really difficult session to judge because the short intervals, you need to quickly get up into that zone that you really want to be in. You need to recover in between and then go again. And it's just 60 seconds recovery in between. So then you're teaching your heart rate to go from high to low as you get your breathing under control. And that's a great skill to have because if you're able to pace an interval session like that, it's gonna be easier for you to pace longer intervals because there's less of them. And it's gonna be easier for you to pace your 5K and 10K races. So you have it all to play for. And the fact that you're asking an intelligent question like that straight off the bat when you know, you've tried them and you've gone out too quick, it's usually from people who have had a sports background. They've been pretty good at football or they've played cricket or American football or baseball or something. So they know how to sprint and they still have that as, from a kid and they know how to go out there and run slowly because they've built that hobby in later on in life. But there's nothing in the middle and it's that middle ground that you want to build time in because that's what's going to move you forward. As well.